What's up, Dang Gang? It's your boy Dang Dash, and I'm back with another video for y'all. Did you miss me? I hope so. I miss y'all so much. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, y'all. It's Money Making Monday. Um, I have lobster tails right here. I think it's 10 of them. The dip and dash butter sauce. That's on its way to you. And let's eat. Let's eat. I don't have any lemon, y'all. So I didn't forget them. I just don't have no, no, no lemon. It's all right, though. It's all right. Let's see the thumbnail. Oh, all my stuff falling off. All right. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Where's Opsit Tales? Boom! I'm gonna leave that there. For now. I wanna thank y'all so much for watching the video on, what was that, Saturday? <clears throat> it was a little touchy, y'all. We was talking about side chicks. Woo. Mm -hmm. If y'all ain't checked that out, y'all need to go watch that one. <clears throat> also, on my vlog channel, I uploaded um, my house tour. And I'm gonna upload more stuff over there too. I got the vlog coming from um, Kuzo Meet and Greet. I'm editing that now. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh. These are bigger babies right here. These came from, um, these came from Costco. Mm. It came from Costco. <clears throat> You know what, I get a lot of questions about these butters from the emails. <clears throat> I don't do the emails no more. Like when you email, I'm not doing the emails. Um, that's why I tell everybody to not leave it a button in the comments in the videos. Do not leave it in the um, DM or the comments on Instagram. Email. <clears throat> also, Monday through Friday, Business days. Don't do it on a Saturday or a Sunday. You might not always get a response back because if we're trying to run it like it is a business, right? So ain't no Saturday and Sunday. So the butters don't get shipped out on Saturdays and Sundays. Everything get handled during the week. I got help.
help now, y'all. There's people taking care of certain things. When you place the order, what you gonna get? After you place your order is a thank you with an order number. You will not get anything else until the butter is on its way. So, a lot of people are like, well, I ain't getting any updates. I ain't getting any um, notification, any tracking. You don't get that until it's on its way. Them two are the, those are the most two asked questions. can't comment up under a video or a picture <clears throat> with three, four hundred other comments about something that you spent your money on and expect for you to get a response back. Because I might, I don't always check my comments like that. I can't always be up under the comments. <clears throat> Especially after the video been out hours, days. You gotta use the email, y'all. So we can get we can get it taken care of. I got some Pepsi. That sounds so good. That one just sounds so satisfying. They all falling over. I was just like, you need to move here. I tried to make it look nice. Whew, I'm hot. Excuse me. Mm. We got more stuff to talk about. This is another common problem. <clears throat> Listen, I know. When the butter is going to sell and stuff like that, people be racing to the, you know, to the, to the site <clears throat> to hurry up the order because you don't want it to sell out. I know that happens because it always sells out. But you need to make sure you're putting your correct information in. Correct address. That's the most important because if I ship it out to you and you don't get it, that's not my fault. Not my fault. You didn't put your address in right. Okay. It's not my fault. If uh, I send out notifications and you don't get yours because you didn't put your email address in, or if you did, you didn't put it in right. That's not my fault. If you didn't put your phone number in instead of your email so you can get the notification because it's in text or emails about your information. So you put your information in incorrectly and then you email me a thousand times because you want me to make sure I fix it. <clears throat> or you do it and you don't know that you did it and then your butter gets sent to you and it don't you know you don't get it right so they keep it at the post office right and tell you to come pick it up you don't pick it up you don't go pick it up so they're going to send it back to me and then you're going to finally email me and say well what's going on it's been two months <laughs> it's been a month i haven't got i haven't got my order well, what did you do wrong? Because I sent it to you. Did you put the email in correct? Did you put your number in correctly? I can't control it, y'all. 
So sometimes when y'all come at me in these emails, like when they send me the emails, like they forward, they forward me the emails, or I can go in and check the emails myself. A lot of y'all be going crazy about stuff that y'all did. Like that's nobody's fault but yours. You gotta put your own information in. I don't know that information. And then y'all make it seem like I just didn't ship y'all butter. I just been playing with y'all stuff. No, I got proof. I can show you the tracking information when they left out of my facility and it came to your front door or it came to your house and the postal people didn't leave it because it wasn't the correct address. Or um, what happens? They attempt to leave it at your front door. Okay, look, if you live in a sketchy neighborhood and it's left at your front door and you go to your front door and it's not there. What is that? That's not my fault. You, you need a P.O. box. Leave it at your auntie house. She always home. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. Y'all be going on me. When you have a business, even when it's not your fault, it's your fault. It's always my fault. But it don't bother me. Because I know it was sent to you. Pookie and Ray Ray and them took it off your porch. Right? So you blaming it on me. But I don't know, y'all. And then like some people who put the wrong address in, right? You pay seven dollars for your shipping. Ooh, sorry. You pay seven dollars for your shipping. You pay for your own shipping, right? You put your wrong address in. You um they send it all the way back here. You live in, in, in LA. It takes three days to get to you. They send it all the way back here, right? When they send it back here to me, I have to remake your fresh order and pay for your shipping to go back. I'm about to start charging. If you don't put your address in and you want another order, you gotta pay for a whole nother one. Then what? I, who, who, then I'm the bad guy, right? Mm -hmm. There's an option on there that you can pay for when you order him. If you know you live in one of those areas where you don't want to leave them at your front door and you don't trust it, you can have it where you can go pick it up from the post office. You can have it when you have to sign for it. They will not leave it at your door. Choose those options. It's going to cost more. But you're going to get your stuff. It costs so much money. to run this stuff and for people to, there's even people who try to take advantage of it and make it seem like they didn't get their stuff and when they got it and they're just trying to order another one. I can find that out, I can see, I can tell. So don't try to pull nothing slick because the police will be at your door. I got your information, remember. All right, come on now. Hey. I ain't trying to air nobody out. But please make sure y'all put y'all correct information in. Because when it's wrong, <clears throat> the 
blame it on me. But you can't blame it on me. You can try. You can email it that way. But when you get that response, <laughs> when you get that response, and it's all facts there, after you done cussing me out, and I state all the facts, don't think I'm sending it back to you for free. You gonna pay that $7 again for your shipping. Cash at me your $7. Let me get you a new label. Cause you cussed me out. <laughs> Just play. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing. Just don't cuss me out. Cause it ain't my fault probably. Oh, I got another one. I waited 12 weeks. I waited 12 weeks for my order. Me, I'm like, no, you didn't. I didn't. And my mom, like, no, you didn't. I waited 12 weeks. So I go, what's your order number? Let me check. I go check, right? It's been like five days. And they count the weekend. Okay, now I'm going down. I gotta get people. Excuse me. I gotta give people off days, okay? And the weekend is off days because there's nothing running. I can go take your order at Thursday May, one Saturday, to the post office. It will not get sent out until Monday. So why would I leave my products just sitting in the post office? For the weekend. And go ahead. <clears throat> nope. So I'm just going to send it on Monday. Monday to Friday. Now, sometimes it's completely my fault. Like, when I first moved, I had a, before I moved, I had a whole bunch of boxes, right? The um, priority boxes, the boxes that should better come in from the post office. I had a whole bunch of them. I had so many that I was like, oh, ooh, who about to move all these boxes? Well, you can just order some more. So, then bring the boxes, right? Because normally you order them like two days before and they come. Then we'll, they bring the boxes, try to go order them. On the site, there was back order. <clears throat> so, I delayed some orders when I did that. over the grace period. And I apologize for that. I put a video out saying that and I put it on my social media. You know? I said, I'll be a room. I take accountability. Good job. Y'all still the best. I don't care. Y'all cuss me out all you want to. I still love you. Ain't no love lost, cause I understand. If don't nobody else understand, I understand. Like, cause <laughs> I ordered some stuff from some a, a company, and I love this, you know, this this company. Um, 
And it was like during the sale that they had, and the sale went crazy. It was probably like two months ago. I still don't have my stuff. <clears throat> but I ain't emailing every day because I know it's busy, you know? I understand. I understand. But I also understand being a customer. Like, I'm like, well, I want this sauce. Everybody eat this sauce. This sauce, this is, it's, 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 it's hitting. Look at it in that bowl. It's so crispy. I got to order mine. Hey, where my sauce? <laughs> at the door, at the window. Like, what's up? I got the crab legs. I got the lobster. What's up? Where the lobster? Hey, here. <laughs> Let me email them right now. What the fuck is going on here? I ordered my sauce two weeks ago. And it looks so good in the wet. What's up? And then, you know, whoever's responding back, because it's probably not me. I don't respond back because. I just don't. So y'all probably be thinking it's me, it's not me, y'all. Okay, look. So sorry. Hello, um, hey, what's your order number? 6742. Alright, it says here that you just ordered on Tuesday, the 7th. It is now the 11th. You still have approximately four days. Don't make all that. I, I, I didn't even count, so just four days. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. But then you would think that you got pushed up to the front. Because I used to think like that. Like when you complain, you email, they push you up to the front. No, they don't. Because it's people who literally about to run into the 11th day or 10th day. They got to go out first. You know, first, in, my thing is what I put in order is first in, first out. So if you've been at your 10th day and I know it's the 10th day, I'm pushing everybody's order out who's at the 10th day. Sometimes it can come before the 7 to 10 days. Don't get me wrong. It can come in two days. It can come in, in seven days and five days. But... The way I, I set it up this way is because there's only, what, three of us who's doing this, four of us who's doing this, and before it was just me. Before it was just me, right? So in order to have some type of organization where I can still do videos like this and still travel to do um, collabs and, and do other stuff, I had to put a grace period in because <clears throat> I can't just be, you know, stuck in one spot all the time so what i do now is i'll go we make a whole bunch of them like a whole bunch of them and um i after i do that part i'm pretty much i'm good so i can leave if i do out of town and stuff like that and then my crew printing the label shipping the label sending it out checking the emails doing the emails and stuff like that so every so often i gotta go re-up and mix them all you know what i'm saying get it right so just because you don't you don't get your order doesn't mean we're not fulfilling orders it's a lot of people who order y'all i've been having a site on kind of every day or if i sell out i'll restock you know what i'm saying so it's busy. It's busy. I know you be feeling like you're the only person or you don't care about whoever else didn't order, but it's a lot to go into this, y'all. And I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. And I'm grateful and thankful I'm not complaining. I'm just letting y'all know a few behind the scenes things. So maybe you can get a better understanding or maybe you can, you know, I don't know, it eases your mind a little because nobody's playing with nobody's money, you know. I'm not gonna play with your money up for the butter because people be thinking people are chipping them and, and robbing them, like all type of stuff. And it's not, never that. It's not that. It's not that. Oh, another thing. <clears throat> no, if. <clears throat> excuse me. If it's a mistake on our end, first priority, it's coming straight to you, straight out. As soon as we get wind of it, straight to you. If it's a mistake on your end, <laughs> mm. 
I'm gonna try my best to get it to you as soon as I can, but I'm not gonna skip over somebody else. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you put the right email in, the right phone number, the right <coughs> address. The address is the most important. I think it's an option on there where you can save your information, just save everything, or make a, a profile or something like that so everything could be correct. Double check. So it can be correct. Okay? Because I got to go do the butters right now, okay? And I already know the process. Already know. Work out like 500 right now, I got to go do. But then I got another 500 I got to do again. It's never over. This is just straight Pepsi. I need to put some. We'll go good with Pepsi. Some cognac, but I can't. Got to go to work. They got a clock in. But, y'all, I barely ate. I ate what? I ate enough. I ate six of them. That's some nice. I'm out. I'll leave the other four for later. But I love y'all so much. Please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what we're doing over here, y'all. We're constantly going over here, y'all. We got 130K. That is crazy. 130K. I need like 30K, y'all, to go subscribe to my vlog channel, Life with Dame Dash. Rock with me, y'all wanna see behind the scenes stuff, what I go through. Huh? You gonna go and you gonna go for my vlog channel because you don't wanna miss it. Wiki wiki. Huh? Maybe. Hell no. Alright. But if you want to, the link is down below in the description box. Go ahead on over there and check it right out. Hit subscribe, okay? Let me go. I'm on the schedule. I got to go. I'm running late. I posted a bit 11, 2.30. It's 2.42. Bye, y'all. Peace. Love ya. Peace.